WWDC is only a few days away and I think I have some pretty good predictions. Some are a little bit obvious as to what Apple will announce at WWDC. The first prediction is that AirPods will get some new features. This has been common in past worldwide developer conferences where AirPods would get additional features that would launch next to the upcoming iOS or iPadOS or macOS releases. I don't think it's gonna be anything major, maybe some quality of life uh, features, perhaps some additional features for noise canceling, and maybe we will see the new version of AirPods Max. The second prediction is that Apple will make some significant updates to Notification Center. Now, when you compare notifications between iOS and Android, a lot of people would say that Android has the upper hand. And Apple for the past couple of years has been making little tweaks to Notification Center. And it would not surprise me if Apple releases a updated version of Notification Center for iOS 18, iPadOS 18, macOS 15, etc. My hope is if Apple has updates to Notification Center, it would at least give us more control over the Notification Center. For example, like maybe I want to shut off notifications for all social media apps. So all I need to do is go to Notifications, tap on social media and turn that toggle off and all of the apps that are considered social media will no longer send me push notifications. That is my hope. We will see if Apple will implement this. If not, maybe next year. The third prediction is that Apple will make improvements to Stage Manager. Now with the release of all of these M series iPads and every iPad since 2018, being compatible with Stage Manager, it would not surprise me that Apple would want to make this feature even better considering they tend to offer the iPad as a Mac supplement. While the iPad OS operating system doesn't quite live up to the hype that people expect from $1,000 iPad Pros, improvements to Stage Manager may help. On the topic of iPad OS, I think Apple will announce a light version of Xcode. And this only makes sense to me because with Playgrounds, it's really simple. You really can't do a lot of things with it. I think if Apple really wants to get more iOS developers and maybe younger children, maybe Gen Z, Gen Alpha, then having Xcode available on iPad and having the robust Swift tutorials would definitely help in bringing in more iOS developers into the Apple ecosystem. Also, it would be a good education move for Apple as well. They can market the iPads as useful for education. I'm not expecting Watch OS to get a lot of updates, maybe just a new exercise module. I don't follow tvOS much, but whatever features Apple plans on announcing for it, I think they will be very minor and maybe they will have something to do with a new AirPods feature. As far as Mac OS, I think we are going to get some improvements to Mac Catalyst apps and perhaps for those developers who want to bring over their iPad apps to the Mac ecosystem, Mac OS 15 is probably going to make that easier. But from a consumer standpoint, I think Mac OS is going to get some improvements to messages, to mail, to all of the stock apps, but I'm not expecting anything major in terms of macOS. I think all of the attention is going to be on iOS since that's Apple's bread and butter. As far as Vision OS, you can expect a lot of improvements to the user interface, to how you interact with the objects in space, and possibly some new immersive features. So let me know what you think about these predictions. Do you think I'm on the money? Do you think I am smoking a whole bunch of crack and making no sense? Or do you think that Apple is going to give us a one more thing and surprise us like they did last year with the announcement of Apple Vision Pro? As always, leave all your thoughts in the comments 
And thank you all for watching the videos. It's really helped me out. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.